Okay, and here I have an old R4B Drake calibrator board that I got in the mail. And that has the uh, 100 kilohertz crystal in it. So, I was rather curious if I could replace this crystal with one that I bought from DigiKey. So, again, this is a 100 KC crystal, if I can show it on the camera here. I guess it's not showing up because it's not marked that way. Okay, here it is. You will see that that will say 100 KCs. And it's a really big crystal. So this was made probably 53 years ago. Back in 1967 or 68 or 69, around there. So fast forward to the year 2021. I get on DigiKey and I buy this tiny crystal at 100 kilohertz I thought maybe this would work in the Drake calibrator board when I found that my crystal was dead and that's before I took the crystal apart and repaired it so I thought would these little crystals work and I put the generator up on 5 volts and I burned out two of them I think because they wouldn't come back to life so these don't like a lot of drive at all they um burn up I'm finding so I'm putting about a volt in these and they aren't quite resident on 100 kcs but they're close and that's how my Drake crystal was it was close but not quite on so anyway I think I burned up these two poor crystals and one fell on the floor so I had 10 I think I have like I have like seven left that work anyway what's weird about this crystal though is when I change frequency it gets bouncy so when I just change the frequency here on the generator watch what happens look how it gets real bouncy when it really resonates or whatever it's weird so that doesn't behave at all like the um, 1968 large crystal I had from the calibrator so it's odd how it's bouncy but Look at the resonance I get when it finally resonates. Look at all the voltage I get out. I think I'm only putting a volt in and I'm getting like huge resonance out of this thing. So it's pretty cool. Anyway. So how much change are we doing here? Let's see. I am clicking it. Come on, focus. Okay, it's auto resonance. And that's some better resonance there. One more click back. That's some pretty strong resonance there on near 100 KC. One more click back and it goes down. So yeah, this crystal wants to be right around, right around there is where it wants to be. So now I'm curious that I bought the spare Drake calibrator. Could I get it working with a crystal in there to see if it'll work and then pull the crystal out and then put this little crystal in here? Would it work? And would it be more stable? So I would probably give it the hairdryer test and uh, heat it up and down with the hairdryer. It might beat what's in the Drake. What I have in there now is the old 1968 crystal and it. Um, might be a bit drifty, I don't know. Anyway, that might be a fun experiment. So now I gotta fire this little board up here, see if it works with the, the way it is, and maybe put a new crystal in here and see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah, this is my exciting little, these crystals are from Epson. It's like a little watch crystal, I think. Whoops, it fell off. Wire fell off the crystal. Anyway, it's a, um, an Epson. I got, I'm guessing it's about a watch crystal, so. I got these little guys from DigiKey here. And let's see here. Okay, Epson crystal. Eleven puffs. Ship ten crystals. Back ordered none of them. So anyway, that's pretty cool, huh? So I burned up two of them by overdriving them, huh? 
Anyway. It's probably for a watch or something. But they're only like a buck. Buck 25. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Good luck with your crystals.